Hi everyone today I teach how to upload video files in Angular front end and Laravel back end project. So let's create Angular project by using a new and enter your project name. And then press enter. So I need Angular routing therefore I enter Y. So it asked to which style sheet do you want I select SCSS. Then project installing I paused my screen recoder. Now our Angular project install is finished also I need to install Laravel project. Now our Laravel project install using this command composer create project Laravel slash Laravel then put our project name. And then press enter. Cool now our Laravel project installation is done so guys this is a coding time. So guys my code editor is Visual Studio Code I open my Angular project in Visual Studio Code. Now we need to go src app app .component .html and remove everything in the file after that add html form to uplayout files. Firstly I add h1 tag and put angular file upload text inside to that tag. Now I add html form tag and put input tag inside the form tag. In this input tag. I define input type equal file which means we need to upload file therefore here define our input type as a file. Also I add accept attribute to define file types in my input tag accept attribute allows to filter given file types here I allows to filter mp4 and pdf in file picker. Now I closed my input tag. So let's time to see our changes in web browser. Now I type ng serve double dash o command to see changes in web browser. So first time running this command it is getting little bit slow. Cool. You can see the web browser our changes display successfully now we can do some changes in our ts file to handle file upload logic. First we need to go app.module.ts file and import two imports the first one is http client module and angular form module. First I import http client module like this way. After that I import angular form module to handle our form validations. After importing these two modules we need to declare these two imports under ing modules import decoder. So next we need to go app.components.ts file and write our file upload logic inside the that file. Inside the app.component.ts file we need to import HTTP client module and form module and declare it constructor. Now I add form controllers, from group and validators. Now I copy and paste constructor code in this constructor I define each HTTP client. Now I initialize from group this way. Also I add ng on init method this method important to us validate our HTML form. Guys this videos I never explain each code part what does in our logic so guys you can learn yourself and understand what I do. Read Angular documentation this video description I put this video related Angular docs so you can see what I do also you can do this way but the most important thing is to watch video and read Angular docs I think this way is a best way to be a real developer. No I create function called check validations. In this function I put this logic. This dot file form. Equal new space form group. Inside the bracket type this code. Open single quotes. Inside single quotes put any name do you like here I put this name. 
space colon space new space from control open bracket inside the bracket put null comma validators dot required now we need to do some changes in our html code now let's go to our html code Firstly I add form control name attribute to our input tag. Equal file upload. Next I add inside form tag this attribute. Open square bracket. Inside square bracket I add from group and equal file form. Here file forms means our form group name. Next I add ng submit attribute like this way. So we need to equal ng submit attribute to our ts file function. Here I create function called submit. So next I create submit function in our app.component.ts file. So let's go component file and create submit function this way. So next I add span tag to display error message I here paste already made code please see this code carefully. So next we need to add check validations function inside the ng onanit function. So let's time to see our changes in web browser. Here I type ng serve command to see my changes in the web browser. Here I type ng serve command to see my changes in the web browser. Oops I think I make some mistakes in my code. Let's time to check what is this error. I think I forget import reactive form module inside the r module file let's time to fix that. So again I typing surf command. Cool, it is working. So here required validation is working but we need to validate file size and extension let's time to see how to do that. First I created function called on file selected and add one parameter to catch our file. Here event parameter catch our form selected file and pass it to function body. Now we need to go HTML file and add change event and declare our function in input field. Let's see how to I do that. Now I create a variable called file error and assign any to data type, so guys you can't understand what is any, please self learn about TypeScript's variables. Now let's need to go on file selected function and string empty string to our file error variable. Also I create another variable to store and catch our file. Now I ask again our newly created variable to event variable so this selected file variable will hold our file and help to validate it. Also I create another variable called selected file name to store file name first I assign empty string to that variable. Now we need to assign user selected file name to that variable let's see how to do that. Also I create another variable to store file size, here I used let keyword to before creating variable and in default file size is zero. Based on TypeScript, TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript so guys you can need to do task. 
find yourself different between let, const and var keywords in JavaScripts. Also I create another variable to store the file extension and assign null to that. Now we need to get user selected file size and assign file size to our file size variable. Here I used this code to get file size. Basically this code part does get file size and round it using math round keyword. We will use this variable in if condition and validate our file size using if condition. Now I create if condition and validate our file size. Here I validate maximum file size is 1 gigabytes. Here I create another variable to disable file uplayout button and assign false value to it. So now need to do some changes again our HTML file. First I create diff tag. And put if condition like this way and equal our variable. Now I put our button inside the this div tag. Now I put disable file uplayout button variable inside the our component file of condition and assign false value to it. Also I issued an error message to our file error variable. Here we limited our file size to 1 gigabytes. Now I had else put to our if condition. Now I split user selected file using this code we need to check and validate user selected file so that we need to this code. In here previously we create ext variable and as gen is value as null now we used that variable store user selected file actual extension and validate that extensions as we need. In this code get user selected file any file extension and store it ext variable. So we need to create if statement to validate extensions if open brackets inside the rounded brackets i put this code here i validate mp4 and pdf file extensions you can put any other extensions inside the double quotes and use or symbol to add many extensions inside the if condition i enable file upload button to upload file using this code again i add else condition to display error message to user Again I add else condition to display error message and disable file uplayout button. And now I add error message to display to user like your extension is invalid or invalid extension. Finally I add file error variable to our HTML file to display error message in web page. Cool this is time to check our code. You can see file requier is validation is working. So now I upload invalid file extension and check our file extension validation is work or not. Cool you can see file extension validation is working correctly. Finally we need to check file size validation is working or not. You can see file size validation is working correctly. So this video next part I hope show how to upload file to Laravel backend and save serve storage.